thank you very much for joining us here today as we gather to support the advancement of the artificial pancreas for the millions of Americans living with type 1 diabetes. My name is Kate Blumen. I'm 11 years old and I live here in Washington, D.C. I'm here today to tell you that it is hard to have diabetes. For me and millions of other people in the United States with diabetes, an artificial pancreas can't wait. In five years, I want to get a driver's license. In seven years, I want to go to college. I don't want my diabetes to get in the way of these big events in my life. Having an artificial pancreas will make a difference. I hope that the FDA is listening today, that the people making the decisions at the FDA know how badly those of us with type 1 diabetes want an artificial pancreas. And we don't just want it, we need it. Please, people at the FDA, do everything you can to make this possible. Thank you. As we have just heard from Caitlin, the artificial pancreas has the potential to dramatically improve the health and the quality of life for individuals living with diabetes. The Food and Drug Administration has so far played a pivotal role in moving research forward by approving clinical trials in hospital settings and making the artificial pancreas part of its regulatory science initiative. At a hearing that I chaired last summer as part of the JDRF's Children's Congress, the FDA committed to issuing draft guidance on the artificial pancreas by December 1st. We need this innovation now in the United States. Draft guidance issued by December 1st that follows the scientific consensus on the artificial pancreas will help us get there and achieve that goal. By combining components that already exist, insulin pumps and continuous glucose monitors, the artificial pancreas can control blood sugar levels automatically. And this would change the lives of so many men, women, and children who are living with type 1 diabetes. It's time now for us to get this device into the hands of all of those living with type 1 diabetes. We need guidance from the FDA, and we are gathered here to urge the FDA to issue guidelines that will not have unnecessary delays in the development of this medical technology. This will improve the lives of the millions of Americans with type 1 diabetes. The artificial pancreas will be the most revolutionary advance in treating type 1 diabetes since the introduction of insulin 90 years ago. 